This show is brought to you by Manscaped. Use the code AFTV for 20% off your order and free shipping at manscaped.com. AFTV, um, you just heard those guys arguing before that. A good or a bad season for you? Well, not bad, a good or an average season. Definitely um, ain't bad. Below average. It's a below, below average. average. It's below average. It's got to be what? below average. Okay, we've ended up at fifth, right? We've ended up in five. So we've... at the start of the season, you thought we'd get fourth? No, I didn't. No, so how's it I mean, below I, average? I will, I will, uh, no, I didn't. What, what, did you think, I, what, did you, at... what did you think we'd get then? If I, if I look at where we finished last season, I was expecting six or seven. So how's it, how's it at below average? Because where we are now and where we could have been, right, if certain decisions had been made, if we hadn't gotten rid of X amount of players in January and not brought anybody in, we would have gotten over the line. We can't have four, four three games, four points ahead of the scum, right? And we've got three games and we can't get four points out of those three games. That's why it's a below average season. We're not supposed to be talking about fifth. Right now, we should be in the Champions League. No, no, I, I think you should, I, you're disappointed because, like I'm disappointed because really and truly we had a massive opportunity to get top four. But right. you can't say it's a below average season if your expectations at the start of the season was to get six. Yeah, I see you've been asking my name. That, 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 no, no, the, because, because, the reason why I keep asking people that, the reason why I keep asking people that, because it doesn't make no sense to me, because you can't say it's a below average season if you expected it to be six. That'd be like me I'm going for an exam. I expect to get, I expect to get a B. No, no, I expect to get a C. I get a B. And then I say, boy, I, it's a below average, below average when I expected to get a C. It All don't right. make sense. Well, when you look at it head on, face on, logically, what you're saying is true. Okay? Fine, yes. I'll, 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 I'll agree with that. Mm. We can't disagree with that. But this is, we've got to look at it a bit more round. You've got to look at it more rounded than that. Because we are looking at five and we're quite happy with, a lot of people are being happy with five. And not looking at why. Why did we finish five? It comes down to Arteta. It does. It comes down to the blunders. Not strengthening in January. What on earth was he thinking? Not doing that. And then when you look at Eddie Nketiah and say, he's the answer, then you're asking the wrong question. Okay? He has scored quite a few goals in the running. Four goals. Five, five I think. Oh, sorry, five. five. Okay, five goals he scored. And those... you, know, you, you know, when you consider that even though he's been here for a lot of the season, he hasn't really played much games yeah. until right near the end of the season. And when he's come in and been given a run, he's actually delivered, yeah. hasn't he? Well, what he's done... What he's done, he's, he's done what Lacazette's done, except that in the latter part of these games that Eddie Nketiah's played, what Lacazette has not done is score goals. Eddie Nketiah's been running about and being and working really hard, like Lacazette always used to. But he used to score Lacazette used to. He's no longer doing that. So we reached a point with Lacazette whereby, yeah, yeah, you run it, you're hard, you know, you work very hard, you bring man in, but you're not scoring. We've lost patience with him. Nketiah comes in and he does the same thing, but he's added a couple of goals out of those three games, two against Chelsea, all right? Then he, then West Ham, he was put through three times by West Ham's own defenders and didn't score, okay? And then the game after that, he scores two. Eddie Nkic is not the answer. He's just not. He's a championship player. I don't know. I think he's no, proved he's, a he's, well, proved I, he's I not a championship he's... player, I think. Well, uh, he's, I the, the end of the season, when he's had limited game time, manager said himself, you know what? I should have played you more. He's proved to me. He's proved himself in the, in, in in the last few games. Right. He's just scored more goals than Calvert Lewin, and a lot of people are screaming to get him. So you know, he scored half the amount of goals as Jesus. So you know, you know, you can't in in in, in a very few amount of games. You can't compare him. Jesus is not happy at Man City because he's not starting all the time. Jesus comes here, and the chances that we can create for him, he'll be scoring mile a minute, mile a minute. All right, well, hopefully we'll see. Hopefully we'll see. What would you mark the season out of, out of 10 then? You said it's below average, well, so for me, I guess you're giving it a four. I, I've been listening to everybody and I would give it four. I wouldn't give it more than five. I would give it four, me. I would give it four. Yeah. And that's based on, but I'll tell you why. You know that's, I'll tell you why, because that's based When you said that, come here for a second. Our next man come to crash the team. Come, oh. come, come in. You know, it was your face when come you said that. Come in. Go on. It's basic. Go, Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Your face when he said that, you just went, what? Come, come. What would you give it? Turn around and say, sorry. What would you give it? Seven. Seven. Yeah. Seven. Yeah, seven. 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 Seven is... You'd give it seven. Why would, why would you give it seven? No, also, no, no, no. Why would you give it seven? Because I expect it to be 
five and four, and I was five. I'm gonna come in. Okay, well, it depends on. Well, let me your say aim. this. It depends on your in your aim and your aims at the start of the season. Because we, we were never told, but we're Arsenal. This is Arsenal. We're not, we're not Wolves, West Ham. We're a big club. So we need big ambitions. So fifth ain't good enough, but for the way we, like, at the start of the season, I would have taken fifth. Anyone would have. All right, let me so, say this. He said seven, right? And he said what he expected. And we're in fifth place right now. I'm going to say this. We already know this is a big club, one of the biggest clubs in the world, right? The reason the scum are in the Champions League now is because they have a manager called Antonio Conte. That's why. And in January, they brought just two players. No, hold on, young man. Two players, and that was enough to get them over the line. We didn't buy anybody. Don't forget, they haven't, they haven't yet won a cup yet. That was. Look at that. They're gonna, they're gonna, Think about the other way. They're gonna. No, we're not talking about the cup. The aim was Champions League, and they're there. What would you give it out? The season of Arteta. This season. Seven out of ten, conveniently. What, you, you see, France had just been ridiculous. No one expected the top five from the beginning of the season. And people are completely forgetting what we were last season and two seasons. We were playing absolute shit two seasons ago. No coordination in the field. We were playing much better. And obviously, the club wasn't aiming for, for top four this season. As you can see from, from, the, uh, from the action or inaction in January, we let Aubameyang go. We didn't replace him. We knew Lacazette wasn't going to score. Lacazette hasn't scored 15 goals for us in the season in the Premier and we knew that and like Kazet turned to a defender all of a sudden and, and everybody keeps ailing so the club were happy with returning to Europe and we've achieved that we've made of course, it's disappointing the way we lose top four and all of that I totally understand that but looking at the bigger picture we finished fifth we were eighth last season we were eighth the season before there's definitely progress and we're even playing better and look at this and, and look at the team we're using all we need in the summer is to just try and invest. And again, the problem comes again next summer when we don't invest. And people, people are like, OK, we don't know where we'll finish. And we manage to finish somewhere. And we manage to finish somewhere. And people will still criticize the manager. And lastly, people were slating as a winger for finishing fourth. So why all of a sudden have we changed the goalposts? Why is it now because the manager is not, is not finishing fourth, then he has to die? Someone said he would have killed us. Uh, mm. kill, kill Ateta if he has the power. It's absolutely ridiculous. It is a good season. It's a progression from where we were two seasons ago. And if we make the right investment in the summer, I'm sure we'll finish fourth next season. So seven. But nobody. Seven. Four. About that. Yeah, but nobody seven. slated Wenger for coming fourth. No. No. Well, you, it's when he. Hold on. No, 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 no. It's when he was fifth. That the pressure started. No, no hold that's on. completely hold on, wrong. Hold on, let me remind you of something. No, no you could go back. Anyway, anyway, listen. Go back. Go back. This is going for ages, right? So, but listen, thank thing. you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform. So, check it out.